Hello, my purple banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we took down the Cinnabar Gym and we obtained our seventh badge. Today we're back here in Viridian City because we were told that the Viridian City Gym Leader has returned. So we're going to be stepping inside of. Rush is looking relieved. Did Rush just pee on that bush? We are going to step inside of Viridian City's Pokemon Gym and take on whoever the leader is. Yo, champ in the making! Even I don't know who the Radiant City Gym Leader is, but one thing's certain, you're qualified to challenge the Gym Leader because you have seven badges. This Gym Leader will be stronger than any other trainers you've ever faced. Also, I heard that the trainers here uses a Ground-type Pokemon. Ground-type Pokemon. And as you guys just heard, they have no idea who the Gym Leader is either. So that is for us to find out. It is a Ground-type Gym. So let's get ready. I'm going to put Wave up in front. We also have Blizz ready to jump in. Rush is pretty strong. Tack is strong. Our whole team is ready. So let's jump into our first battle of today here in the Viridian City Gym. Let's see what type of Pokemon they're going to be using. We're challenged by Tamer Cole. He has two Pokemon. Ooh, the first one is going to be a Nidorino. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give it a shot. I feel pretty confident having Wave up in front as we are going to have... The super effective advantage. If you guys remember as well, we obtained the Mega Stones last time for Blastoise, Venusaur, and Charizard. So we're going to be able to use Mega Evolution in this coming gym, which is going to be very, very fun. We're poisoned. Let's hang in there a little bit then. I'm going to go for the Headbutt. That should finish off the Nidorino. The Pokemon in this gym are starting off at level 47. Our Pokemon are all around level 50, so we should be able to handle them. There's also Pokemon Center right there if you guys need to heal up. It's the great thing about Viridian City. Everything is very compact. Next up is going to be a Rhyhorn. We are not going to stop. We're going to keep on going with Wave, and let's see what we can do here, guys. Let's drop one more Surf onto the Rhyhorn, and let's see how much damage Wave is going to be doing. That is it. Rhyhorn is down. That's what I'm talking about. Super effective. Good work, Wave. We will take that. And that's how I like to open things up. So we defeated the first trainer here. We're poisoned. So I need to use one of our full heals. It's a good thing that I am stocked up on everything that we may need. Make sure you guys do just that. As we have been getting some tougher challenges as we progress further and further into the adventure. Let me go ahead and use that potion then. And back we go to the Viridian City Gym Puzzle. So let's see where this is going to take us. We'll go here. This is going to spin us over here. Oh yeah, this is looking quite good. It's going to throw us right into a battle. There we go. And just like that, we keep on moving through the Viridian City Gym. It's very cool to see the Viridian City Gym here in action. I remember this being the most mysterious gym of them all. And to this day, it still really is. We got a Nidoking coming out. Check it out. Doesn't even seem that big compared to our Blastoise. So let's see if our Blastoise will be able to take it down. Nidoking is level 48. Let's drop the Surf yet again. I also have Ice Beam, which will be super effective on ground type. So we have a lot of options here in this gym. And there we have it, guys. The Nidoking is down. I also want to thank you guys so much for all the tips and comments that you guys have been leaving me. I really appreciate all the support that you guys have been showing me on this series. Make sure you hit that like button if you are enjoying the video. And also, click the subscribe button and join the Purple Banditos today. I'm trying to go for a million subscribers here in this coming year. So help me out. We're going to start the ball rolling now. And let's jump into our next battle. So this time around, we got Ace Trainer. He's got two Pokemon ready to go. One is going to be a Dug Trio, and this is going to be one of those easy, breezy battles to get through here. Every time I'm in Viridian City, I'm reminded of a little glitch that used to happen back in the day in Pokemon Blue and Pokemon Red. If you were here in this town in Viridian, you'd come here and talk to the guy who teaches you how to catch Pokemon, and then after you were... You've seen, you saw that little tutorial. You can make your way down to Cinnabar and then surf up and down the edge and you would bump into Missingno. And Missingno was this like crazy glitched Pokemon 
that could give you infinite rare candies, infinite master balls. It was a pretty wild glitch. I'm sure some of you guys experienced it. Some of you may have not because it was really, really first gen. I remember starting off that glitch here in Viridian City, and every time I come back, it just reminds me of it. Some good memories. I had a great time messing around with Masingno as a kid. I would find some of the weirdest Pokemon because it would just like glitch Pokemon together. You'd find some Pokemon that are over level 100. You could get infinite rare candies and max your Pokemon. Infinite Master Balls. It was pretty wild. It was pretty wild. Let's go over here to the left then. And so far, so good. We already battled this guy. I'm already a little bit ahead. And let's go ahead and battle this trainer too. A truly strong trainer wins with style. I feel like we always got to win with style and we definitely do that. We've been mixing up our team quite well. We have a lot of Pokemon that we've been putting into the rotation. And I'm very happy about the way this has been going. Here comes a Nidoqueen. Will the Nidoqueen be stronger than the Nidoking? That is for us to find out. So let's keep it going with the Surf. That has to be one of the best moves that we've found. It's really, really helpful to have that on our Blastoise. Nidoqueen standing up. Here comes the Earthquake. We'll see how much damage that does to us. That did a little bit. A little bit more than I thought it would. Let's go for one more Surf then, ladies and gents. And the Nidoqueen is going to go down. That is it. Nidoqueen is out of here. And I'm feeling pretty good. I also have to tell you guys that it's pretty cool that you can Mega Evolve without even giving your Pokemon the stones. Just having the stones given to you allows you to use them which is awesome that means you can do more with your items you can give your pokemon something else than just the mega stone i'm doing the loop de doop and this is gonna take me all the way back to the start that is not the way we want to go is it ladies and gentlemen so let's see what we can do let's see what we can do i'm gonna go back around because i believe i believe that we can do this and we're gonna go here that's going to loop us up. And there we have it. Now this is what I was looking for. At least I took on all the challengers. That's what it's all about. So let's go ahead and jump into our next battle. Speaking of Mega Evolutions, it's about time we try them out. So here we go, guys. We are challenged by Tamer Jason. He's got one Pokemon, and it's going to be a Sand Slash coming out. We got Wave ready to go. And let's give this a shot against the Sand Slash. All right, Mega Evolution. And I'm dropping the Surf, ladies and gents. Here we have it. The Keystone is activating. And our wave has Mega Evolved. Check that out. Check that out. We have a Mega Blastoise now. And no one is going to be messing with us. Our Pokemon are so strong. I love the fact that we are using the starters because now we have all the Megas. And it's very, very powerful to have them all on your team. We defeated Tamer Jason, and we're going to keep on moving through here. So we do have another battle coming up. Let me use a little Super Potion here. This is a whole lot of fun. I love going through a gym when we have a Pokemon that is extremely effective. So let's take on the next guy. I'm the Karate King. Your fate rests with me. Ooh, could this be the last trainer before we find out who the gym leader of the Viridian City Gym is? That is for us to find out. So here we go, guys. Very nice, very nice. I like to see that. The Graveler's come out. Hasn't been evolved yet into the Golem. So let's drop that Surf, as we should be able to take it down. It is level 47. And that is it. Graveler is out of here. That might just be the last Pokemon that they have. That could be it. The last of Viridian City's trainers. Wave grew to level 51, so we got some great XP out of all these battles. And we defeated the Black Belt Trainer. So let's keep on moving through. And there you have it, guys. You can clearly see who is ahead. And that is the Team Rocket boss, Giovanni. This man is not messing around at all. I know he definitely isn't. So let's go ahead and heal up Wave a little bit. And there's one other thing that I wanted to do to have a little bit of fun here. Let's go ahead and open up our Pokemon box then. I am going to put Vision in the PC. And we are going to take out our Maple. I want to see Maple Mega Evolve as well. We've already seen our Blastoise do it. We can also have our Charizard do it. 
either X or Y, which is great. So we have a bunch of options. Let's put Maple up in front and let's get ready to take on the final gym leader of the Kanto region. <laughs> Welcome to my hideout. It shall be so until I can restore Team Rocket to its former glory. But you have found me again. So be it. This time, I'm not holding back. Once more then, you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, once and for all, Rodri versus Viridian City's gym leader, Giovanni. He's got four Pokemon ready to go. And we are going up against the great Giovanni, the leader of Team Rocket. And let's go ahead and see what Maple can do. I told you guys, Maple's going to be right in on the action. We're going to drop that Mega Evolution, and I'm going for the Mega Drain right off the bat. Doug Trio is level 49, so we are not that much higher up in levels. There we go. We got our Mega Venusaur. Check it out. Here comes the Earthquake. I'm really glad that we were... Mega evolved there because we were tanking this bad boy out. That Mega Drain is going to do a lot. The Doug Trio is down. And any of the health we just took is restored. So that is what I'm talking about. Having a Mega Venusaur out here is making this a lot of fun for me. A lot of fun, guys. Loki grew to level 57. Next is going to be a Nido King. And we are going to keep it going. So let's see what we can do here against Nido King. Giovanni's Nido King. It's level 49. Let's go for the Mega Drain then. We are faster than Needle King. We got it down to half the health, which is pretty good. Here comes the Earthquake, which seems to be what Giovanni's Pokemon are reliant on. So let's see if we can do a little something else. I'm going to go for the Petal Dance here, guys. And I'm hoping to do a lot more damage. We were about to find out. And that is it. Needle King is down. It's not even getting another shot at us. That's it. That's all Needle King can do. We're gaining some XP. Maple grew to level 52. Fantastic on our grass type Pokemon's part. Next up, it's gonna be a Rhydon. We're not stopping. I'm keeping the Mega Venus Sword going. And we're going for the clean sweep here, guys. We are going for the clean sweep. The Petal Dance is still in effect. So let's see how much that's gonna do to Giovanni's Rhydon. It is down. It is out of here. How is Giovanni feeling about this? Last but not least, all right, Rush grew to level 49, and the Pokemon is going to be Nido Queen. So that's it. The last of Giovanni's Pokemon is his Nido Queen. So let's go ahead and do it. Nothing to it but to do it. We're going for the Petal Dance, guys. And that has done half of the Nido Queen's health. All right, all right, all right. Here comes the Earthquake. I'm going to tank this bad boy out. Good work, Maple. Awesome work from our Mega Venusaur. If we land this Mega Drain, that should be it, ladies and gents. We're about to find out. Maple used Mega Drain. And, ooh, it actually hung in there. It hung in there with a little bit. No joke, these Needle Queens are pretty tanky. A little bit tankier than Needle King, which is cool. Surely we'll be able to tank out this last one. And let's see if we can do it one more time there. Let's hit that Mega Drain. We snapped out of the confusion. And that is it, ladies and gents. Needle Queen is down. We have officially done it. What a great battle from our part. We just swept Giovanni. Maple's strong. Our whole team is strong. We beat gym leader Giovanni. Ugh, that was a truly intense fight. We got 8,000 for winning. Yet again, I am defeated. As proof of your victory, here is your Earth Badge. With that, ladies and gentlemen, we have obtained our eighth badge. Here in the Kanto region, we got no more badges to go. We got them all. We got an Earth Badge from Giovanni. An Earth Badge makes all Pokemon obey you, regardless of how high their level is or who originally caught them. It is proof of your mastery as a Pokemon trainer. With it, you can challenge the Pokemon League. And this TM, a gift for a trainer who dares take on the challenge of the Pokemon League. We got TM41 Earthquake. There it is. This powerful attack causes a massive tremor deal damage to opponents. I made it a very long time ago, back when I ran this gym, far too long ago. I can't face my followers after being defeated like this. Team Rocket is, as of today, Team Rocket is finished. As for myself, I shall dedicate my life to Pokemon training again. 
Let us meet again someday. Farewell. Farewell indeed, Giovanni. Farewell indeed. Team Rocket has officially been disbanded. We have defeated the Viridian Gym Leader. And we have obtained our eighth and final badge, ladies and gentlemen. We have officially done it. It's been a crazy ride getting through here. We've gotten so much accomplished, and I'm very, very proud of us. I'm glad that we were able to obtain our eighth badge as we are going to be moving on through here and continuing on next time. Congrats, kid. Boy, though, what a shock. I never thought a criminal would use a Pokemon gym as their hideout. That's it. I've decided. I'll look after the Viridian City Gym from now on. I don't really like to get tied down, so I've always said no when they ask about it, but I'm finally ready. I'll be the gym leader from now on. Yo, that's awesome! I want to battle you! Huh? I mean, sure, but I think you've got a bigger challenge to face right now. So then, Rodri, time for you to take on the Pokemon League. Just keep on going along Route 22 to the west of here, and you won't miss it. The Elite Four are tough opponents, but don't you dare lose! So, as you guys just heard, Blue is going to be taking over the gym. The first challenger I'll have here, I'm sure it's going to be Mo. I'm going to show that little upstart how it's done. And you're right, Mo hasn't gone through the gym yet. So Mo is going to be able to get through there and take on Blue. That is so cool. That is awesome how that tied in. I'm very, very happy that we were able to take on the gym. And it was an absolute blast. As you guys just heard, we got a new route open to us which is gonna lead us to the Pokemon League. So I hope you guys are prepared. Next time we will be continuing from here in Viridian City and heading towards the Pokemon League. Make sure you guys leave me some tips and comments on what's coming up. There's still a couple things that we can take care of, so I'll be sure to do those with you. If you're new to the channel, make sure you click the subscribe button. And if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button as it really does help the series. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Goodbye.